get it. We have new details emerging tonight about the murders of two elderly women in Utica. The United County District Attorney's Office plans to charge the grandson of one of the women with two counts of first degree murder. News Channel 9's Josh Martin joins us now with more. And Josh, why hasn't the man been charged yet with any crime? Well, they're waiting for Nathan Albain to get out of the hospital. Right now, he's in a medically induced coma at St. Elizabeth Hospital. Police waiting to interview him that after a car crash that kick-started this whole investigation. Aubain, a convicted felon, seen here in this mugshot provided by the State Department of Corrections. He hit a utility pole with his car on Sunday night. When police arrived, they say he told officers about a dead body inside a Tilden Avenue residence. Police checked it out and found the remains of 87-year-old Jane Wenka. Aubain is accused of not only killing her, but also his 90-year-old grandma, Katerin Aubain, who, was who he was living with at the time. Police say he had previous issues with his grandmother, including a report of choking her last year. Upon arriving at 1147 Tilden Ave on the first time, officers entered and located body parts, what we believe were Jane Wintka. The rest of her um, body and remains were located at the scene at Pond Lane at Albany Street. That was a secondary scene. Miss Albany's body was also mutilated in a fashion that she was decapitated as well as dismembered and placed in a shallow grave up in Clayville. Um, we believe at this time we have located all remains of both parties and that, uh, thank God, uh, nothing is missing. Utica police are expecting to speak with Albain tonight. He's going to be brought out of that medically induced coma, and the minute he's able to leave the hospital, police will take him into custody. They're hoping he provides answers as to why he committed this horrific crime. Christy? Absolutely horrific. Josh, thank you. For more on this story as it develops, head to localsy.com or the News Channel 9 app.